Oh, look at this baby. I was outside. Oh, it's okay. I was outside getting the other cats in. Hi, honey. And I heard all this meowing. And I know when my cats, because I could see them. And then all of a sudden, this little, I know it's really dark, but this torty, I mean, she's rubbing all, oh, mosquitoes. She's rubbing all over. I know. I know, honey. I know. And I've looked all over the lost and found, and I can't find anything. And she's way too sweet for me to leave her out here. I don't know what to do. Because she can't come inside. She's so small. She's so tiny. Oh. She keeps trying to climb my face, like rub her face on my face. I'm already going to have to take a shower or the cats are going to go insane when I go inside. Oh, and darkness is over there under our car waiting to come eat. Okay, I've gotten her inside into the bathroom and I just took the carrier outside and picked her up and put her in it and then brought her in here because I could not corral all four animals into one room. The cats are outside the door and they are going bananas. Anytime I leave her in here by herself, she goes bananas. And I'm trying to edit a video and I was like an hour late feeding the sugar gliders. Oh. <sighs> I'm going to take her in the morning to the vet and see if she's microchipped. Because I can't have another cat inside. <laughs> I just can't. And I can't leave her outside. She's too friendly. It's alright. He's just a doggy. Well, the cats are probably out there too. But you're okay. You want to stay away from me? I wish she would calm down and let me leave this alone. We are back to normal. It is a little bit later than usual. It is about 10.30 because I had to take the little toity girl to see if she was microchipped, which she wasn't. But, I'll be honest, I thought the cats would be a little more um, stressed this morning. See, look, he's over there. He's already hunting squirrels. <laughs> um... But they weren't. Normally it's no big deal when a stray shows up. I just put it in the bathroom like I did with her and everything's cool, but I'd never had she were inside before when this happened. Well, Miss Diva, ma'am, wasn't having any of another female being in the house. And Gindy was reacting to her, just her tail was huge. She just kept like hissing and spitting. Well, then Genji was going nuts. So I finally, I had to actually put her in my bedroom and I put a litter box in there and her food and water and shut the door. Girl, I don't need your drama this morning. Just wait. <laughs> These squirrels are hilarious. Um, and she actually calmed down once she was in my bedroom and she slept in there with me with the door closed. Look at this. I am filming, squirrel. Do you see this cat? Does not care. I swear. I think the, I think the squirrels think they're pets too. Um, I put her in the bedroom. Look, and here he comes. He knows it's over here. Oh, good grief. I just don't know about all this today. Look. Oh my gosh. Did See how close that was? 
Like he jumped on the squirrel. Like he landed on the squirrel. Like honestly. And it went up the tree. Like. See this is why I know they're playing. Look he landed on the squirrel. The squirrel just like. Was like huh. And then jumped and ran up the tree. And now the, tr now the squirrel. I don't know if you can see. He's coming right back down. And there he is. I don't know what my life's become.